The Earth is one of the most unique planets in existence. It is the only celestial body we can definitively say has the resources and the atmosphere for intelligent life to not only exist, but thrive on its surface. We have discovered other worlds which may be habitable, but so far none of them have been observed to display the same qualities as our home planet. These planets may have supported life, or may even contain some microbial life today, but so far, we have been unable to identify any signs that another intelligent species exists in our universe. However, recent studies and advancements in observational technology have allowed us to discover a few planets which may be better suited to life compared to Earth. In today's video, we will be talking about some of these planets and what makes them potentially better for sustaining life, even when compared to the Earth. Many factors come together to determine if a planet will support life or not. These include everything from the composition, temperature, density, chemical makeup, and the overall location of the planet in relation to its star. This perfect celestial spot is called the Goldilocks Zone. This is a zone in which any planet that orbits is not too close nor too far from its star. This increases the chance of liquid water to flow on the surface of the planet, which substantially improves the chances of the presence of life. All these factors are key for determining if a newly discovered exoplanet is Earth-like or habitable. In recent studies, astronomers have debated if we should be looking at planets that may not necessarily be Earth-like, but may be more conducive to other different kinds of life. These planets may not just be classified as habitable, but may even be called superhabitable. This means they may be more nurturing to other kinds of life than Earth itself. A superhabitable planet is classified as a world where the conditions are more suitable for both the emergence and sustainability of life. To identify a planet that fits these characteristics, it is important to look beyond what our definition of a life-sustaining planet is and instead consider what other biological life forms a planet may be suitable for. There are a few general characteristics that can help point towards a superhabitable planet. The first one is that this sort of planet would most likely orbit a K-type star. These stars are defined as main-sequence objects, which have less mass compared to our Sun, but at the same time are more stable long-term. This is because stars like our Sun typically last for around 10 billion years before they begin to run out of fuel and eventually swell into a red giant. K-type stars can stay alive for up to 34 billion years. This is significantly more, not just in terms of age, but also radiation output. This means that any planet which orbits these stars will have much more time for life to develop, evolve, and thrive. A superhabitable planet will also likely have more mass than the Earth. This would allow for more complex terrain and a larger area of surface water compared to our planet. As a result, this improves the chances that the planet will have an active core, plate tectonics, a stable mantle, and a denser atmosphere. These planets must also have retained most of the gases that were left over from their formation. This will ensure the presence of liquid water, suitable levels of oxygen, and cool surface temperatures. After thorough research, astronomers came up with a list of 24 planets in 2020 that could potentially be considered candidates for superhabitable planets. These 24 planets were picked out of a list of 4,000 known exoplanets and were identified by looking at systems that have terrestrial objects in their habitable zones. Some of these planets were observed to have 1.5 times the mass of Earth, and thought to be between 5 and 8 billion years old, and with similar temperatures. One planet which caught the eye of astronomers is KOI 5715.01, as it fits almost all of the criteria to be classified as a superhabitable planet. The only problem is that the latest models suggest that the surface of the planet may be cooler compared to Earth. This can be a massive hindrance to the evolution of life on the planet. Another major problem is that all viable candidates are at least 100 light years away from the Earth. This makes them incredibly difficult to study in depth. The good news is that with the next generation of space telescopes, which are soon expected to become operational, we will be able to gather more information about these planets, and astronomers have already started selecting the targets of these studies. The main focus is on certain planets that display the most promising conditions for complex life. An important thing to remember is that classifying a planet as superhabitable doesn't mean that it can't be a barren wasteland. This is because our only reference point for life is the biodiversity of the Earth. However, we have observed that life can find a way to thrive in the harshest of conditions. The first exoplanets ever observed were discovered in the 1990s, and in cosmic terms, that's not very long ago. 
Still, it's pretty impressive how much ground scientists have covered over these last few decades. With the help of telescopes both in orbit and on the surface, researchers have found no less than 4,000 confirmed exoplanets and thousands of other candidates. Kepler 186f is one of those exoplanets which was discovered in 2014 by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. This was the first Earth-sized planet ever discovered in the Goldilocks zone of another star. It is located some 500 light-years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. This planet is a noteworthy example of the search for extraterrestrial life. While initially the orbit of the planet seemed a little too extreme and was thought to cause large temperature swings on its surface, new research has concluded that it may not be the case and that the planet may be habitable. Perhaps the most identical planet to Earth discovered so far is Kepler 452b. The star this planet orbits around seems to be the closest analog to our planet and Sun to date. Kepler 452b is thought to have a rocky surface and is located within the habitable zone of a G-type star similar to our Sun, even though the planet itself is 60% larger in diameter compared to the Earth. Another group of planets that have garnered tons of attention from astronomers are located in the TRAPPIST-1 system, some 40 light years from Earth. The system contains no less than seven planets, all of which appear to be rocky and the same size as Earth. Additionally, three of these planets are also located in the habitable zone of their star. While liquid water could theoretically exist on the surface of these three planets, the others seem too far away from the Goldilocks zone, which means they are either way too far or too close to their sun. While all the planets in this system display some interesting characteristics, they are a long way from being identical to our home planet. Research that was based on computer modeling suggests that even the most seemingly habitable planets in this system may have developed like Venus, making them too hot to host water on their surface. TRAPPIST-1e is the only planet of the bunch which could have the ability to host life, but more data is needed to confirm this theory. The current tools astronomers have at their disposal are not powerful enough and are the only obstacles standing in our way to understanding the atmosphere around these planets. Once they can do that, their ability to predict the habitability of these planets will improve substantially. The good news is, these tools are in development as we speak and will be available for you soon. One example of an upcoming powerful instrument that may help us discover new superhabitable planets is NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. It is said to be one of the most potent exoplanet hunters ever developed and one of its main jobs will be to study the atmosphere around planets similar to Earth. Additionally, the telescope will also have the ability to search for biosignatures on these planets. This means it will be able to detect any gases on the surface of a planet which may be associated with any past or present life. It's humbling to think about the fact that worlds that are light years away may have something that we can so intimately relate to. After all, it took a ton of special circumstances for a planet such as ours to exist, and if there is even a faint chance that a twin could be hiding somewhere in the universe, we must find it. Thank you for staying tuned. We hope you liked the video, and if you did, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content about our mysterious cosmos. Are you excited about the launch of the James Webb Telescope? Do you think it will finally help us find a planet identical to Earth? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.